Hi Year 3, it's Miss Talbot. This week in maths we are going to be learning about time. Now if we were in school you would probably be using one of those little yellow clocks in your toolkits. Now I imagine you don't have those at home do you? Now some of you might be lucky and have another toy clock you can use this week which is great but for those of you like me who don't I thought today's lesson could be a bit of a crafty one. I'm going to show you how to make your own paper clock. Now this one I have made out of a paper plate, but don't worry, if you've not got a paper plates, pop to your kitchen, get any old cardboard box, grab a plate or a bowl, and just draw around it, it's that easy. Right, we'll cut this out, and then we'll get started. Okay, so, doesn't matter which one you're using, if you've got a paper plate, great. If you don't have a paper plate, then just like I did now, cut out a piece of card around a plate or a bowl and you're ready to go. Now other things you're going to need are pencil, a pen if you've got it. Now if you've got some coloured pens that would be great. I'm going to be using blue and red. It's really going to help me understand my minutes and my hours. A ruler if you've got one. If you haven't don't stress. Anything with a straight edge will work as well. I've just got a bit of old leftover card here and don't forget your scissors. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line roughly down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, just get it as straight as you can. And then I'm going to draw another line, I think that's about the middle there, going down the other side. So your clock has a cross in the middle. I'm going to put a little dot here, this is where my hands are going to go. Okay, time to add the hours. So I'm going to have my tall one here, I've got three six, nine. Now, I need to add the hours in between. I need to roughly do, two, uh, I'm going to try and find out, there, there. I need to do two lines in the middle of the lines I've done. I'm going to do that all the way around the clock. I'm just going to roughly do it in pencil so they're evenly spread out. If it's not perfect, just give it a little rub out and try drawing the line again. Once again, you don't have to do measurements or anything. You're just eyeballing it, roughly getting where they are. So 12, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'm going to write my numbers on. Starting at 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now I'm going to do my minutes. I want to do my minutes in blue, so they really stand out. So, we start here at zero, and then going round, I want to do four lines in the middle. I'm going to do these shorter, I'm going to roughly have it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All the way round the clock. And then, I'm just going to go over them in blue pen. I'm also going to do a little line here, because this is still a minute two. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Okay, so I've gone around my clock adding all of my minutes. That's a lot of little blue lines, isn't it? Now remember, there are 60 minutes in one hour and they're grouped in chunks of five. So to help me with my blue pen next to it, we're starting at zero, I'm just going to write five minute intervals, counting in fives all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then we're back at the top, 60 minutes, starting again at zero. So this will just help me with some of my times this week. Okay, what are we missing? We're missing our hands. Now, any old scrap bit of card you've got, grab that ruler and just draw two hands, doesn't have to be perfect, and cut them out. Okay, I've cut my two hands, I'm just going to give them a little point on the end, like an arrow. One will be my hour hand and one will be my minute hand. The minute hand is longer, so I'm going to start with that one. I'm going to measure it up. I want my minute hand to touch my minute, so when it's there, 
that's where I need to cut so I can still see my numbers clearly okay I've got my minute hand now my hour hand I just want to touch the hours draw there and cut perfect okay my minute hand and my hour hand now I'm going to color them in my minute hand going to color blue to match the minutes and my hour hand I'll color red to match the hours okay so I've colored in my hands got my blue minute hand and my red hour hand all I've done is add a little lump of blue tack to the back to stick them on. Now, if you don't have blue tack, you could use Play-Doh or plasticine. Those will work just as well. I mean, if you've got a push pin, that's amazing. But I don't have a push pin, so I've chosen this way. Okay, all you then do is stick them into the middle of your clock, and then you can move them around to change the time. You can pick them off and re-stick them wherever they need to go. Now, you'll notice that the clock I showed you at the beginning, this one, had some other markings that had been added onto it. If you click on to the next video, I will explain why I have these markings and coloured in this clock this way. And if it helps you, you'll be able to do that too. Okay, well done.